I'm at Data Centre Dynamics 2014. I'm talking to Roger Tipley, the newly appointed president and chairman of the board of the Green Grid. Yes, sir. Roger, tell us a little bit about your uh, ambitions for the Green Grid under your tenure. All right, well, I, uh, I take over for, uh, for John Tassillo, who's still with Schneider Electric, as am I, and we uh, are just going to continue the success of the organization. It's grown over the last eight years under John's uh, leadership, and we expect to grow it even further. Uh, just recently, we've expanded a very exciting uh, group in Singapore, uh, which is uh, led by some folks off of, also from Schneider, but uh, quite a few other companies involved as well, obviously. Uh, Schneider, or the uh, Green Grid has about 200 companies worldwide so far that are members and, and active. A uh, large group in, in Europe, UK, France, uh, quite a few different countries in Europe that are very active in this. Uh, obviously in the US and Japan, China, Singapore. Uh, those are the main focal areas of our, of our localized efforts. Uh, we try to also provide globalized of interest of uh, globalized content of interest, uh, so that we make sure that what we do is not just applicable to London, <laughs> but also can be uh, leveraged elsewhere. So, although we try to make things that are relevant and, and driven by folks locally, their content can often be leveraged elsewhere. Things like uh, PUE have made the Green Grid famous, I suppose. What, yeah. what, what, what can we expect in the pipeline coming forward? Well, a couple of things are pretty exciting, I think. So one, uh, in fact, driven by the Singapore folks, looking at, uh, they're not the only place, again, that is interested in this, but elevated temperatures in the data center. Uh, that's driven by the Singapore government wanting to, to, to cap their energy spend each year. They have an island that energy has to come across the causeway uh, or generate with, with uh, fossil fuels there on the island. And so they want to try to, to reduce that actually over time. So that's a big challenge. Uh, one way they're looking to do that is to make it through energy efficiency programs. And one way they think they can do that is to look at the study to increase the set points uh, and the inlet air temperatures in the data center, which makes your IT run hotter, but overall perhaps decreases the, uh, the total energy use of a data center. So that's one thing that's going on. A uh, number of other areas we are working in, the areas of sustainability. Uh, a guy who works for me, Christophe Garnier from Schneider, who uh, is leading our group on life cycle analyses and sustainability in the data center. We'll be talking a little more about that today, later on today, actually, in the session that we, we close the show on. Uh, so, that, a lot of things, that that's the one place that's been focused in Europe, but there again, led here by Europe, but it is also being adopted later on by the US, later on by China and elsewhere in the world. So, wherever the uh, things spring up, we try to have grassroots efforts of people who are excited and, ex and subject matter experts, so that we can be the folks to help educate governments or programs or companies around the world and how best to do uh, energy efficiency and, and resource efficiency in their operations.